Hello YouTube, my name is Flight Sim Guy, and the following video is brought to you through my partnership with FSElite.net. FSElite.net is our community's latest resource for news, product reviews, and information about everything related to flight simulation. Don't forget to check out the community page where you'll find the latest and greatest sim videos from up and coming YouTubers, including yours truly. Now, let's get back to the video. Hello YouTube, my name is Flight Sim Guy. Today we're going to talk about something I should have probably talked about a long time ago. And that is aircraft lighting explained. I guess I didn't take a lot of time to learn how aircraft lighting works, primarily because they're not critical to the operation of the aircraft. And for the longest while, I didn't know what the hell they meant. Only some of them, like the landing lights. But I went ahead and figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and do a quick video on aircraft lighting. Um, in this case, I have the Captain Sim 767. At the very least, it looks good. I'm gonna use this aircraft to demo aircraft lighting so let's go ahead and hop inside and get this thing started all I need to do is give it some juice fire up the APU forgot how loud the APU is all right let's look at the outside all right so we have the APU running and uh, stuck in between 2747 here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the PowerPoint. I don't have, a lot pop, don't have a lot of PowerPoints this time. Just a handful of slides. And as we go through each slide, we'll come over here and demonstrate them. So let's go ahead and head over to the classroom. All right, so aircraft lights. What are they and what are they for? Uh, there's a bunch of bulbs all over the damn plane. And they all serve a good purpose. I'm going to go ahead and step through each of them one by one. First up, let's go with the easy one. The red beacon. Um... It's a nice, bright, shiny, red flashing light, and they're good for drawing attention, and you use them uh, to let people know the engines are running or the engine's about to start. So they're, they're turned on just before you start the engines, and you turn them off right after engine shutdown. So let's go over to the cockpit and see what that looks like. So let's go in the inside, look up at our overhead, and I'm always forgetting to do that. Anti-collision, this one right here. It's an anti-collision red beacon. And here is white. Go ahead and click that on. And if you come outside, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's that little flashing light right there. And there should be one on the belly too. There it is right there. And its job is to say, hey, listen, the engine's about to turn on. Stay away. Uh, the next time you're at the airport, watch for the airplanes at the gate. These red lights, they'll come on just before the engine starts and are turned off right after the engines are shut down. All right, so when ground personnel see those red lights flashing, they know the engines are running and the area is unsafe. All right, so that's the red beacon. All right, next up, position lights. All right, now these position lights, I've known that they were position lights, but I didn't know exactly what they mean. They help determine aircraft position and direction. And you always turn them on just before you get on the runway for takeoff. And you always turn them off right after exiting the runway after landing. Uh, I found this bit of information on the internet. Let's go ahead and turn on the position lights. And if you look over here, here it is right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And on the outside, it looks like this. All right, there it is right there. Right on the wingtip right there, and another one right there. One's red, one's green. And I found this bit of information on the internet. Let me see if I can read it for you. Colorful position lights. On each wingtip, you'll see a red or a green light. Red is always on the left wingtip, green on the right. Now, I'm colorblind, and I can't tell the difference, which is red and which is green. I'll just have to take their word for it. Why? Because ship captains back in the 1800s thought it was a good idea. The lights reduce nautical collisions so well that they are now used on all aircraft and even spacecraft. Each wingtip also has a white light facing the rear. Position lights are always on day and night. When we see a red and green light in the sky, we know another aircraft is heading towards us. The lights help us determine aircraft position and direction, thus the name position lights. How about that? I did not know that. So those are the position lights right there, there and there. All right, next up, the anti-collision lights. Now the purpose of the anti-collision lights is to big up yourself so that you don't crash into another airplane. You turn these on just before you get on the runway, you turn them off right after you get off the runway after landing. 
let me see what the internet has to say about anti-collision lights. Nothing attracts attention better than super bright flashing light. That's why big airplanes have several of them. Red beacons are located on the top and bottom of the aircraft. Blinding white strobe lights are on the wingtips. The white wingtip strobes are what you see when you stare up into the night sky and see an airplane flying overhead. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the anti-collision lights. The white one. There's one right here, and there's one right here. Let's click on the white one, see what that looks like. Mm. Kind of hard to see them, but they're there. <laughs> uh, they're just flashing right there. And I want to say that there's another one in there. This one right here, the wing one. Let's go ahead and turn that one on. Okay. I want to say for an aircraft this big, uh, Captain Sim could have made the lights a little bit more distinctive. Anyway, so those are your anti-collision lights. Let's see what's next. The taxi lights. Well, these are a no-brainer. No -brainer. They work like car headlamps. You turn them on just before you start your taxiing to the runway. You turn them off just before you get on the runway for takeoff. Um, taxi lights are relatively straightforward. I knew what those are. Didn't have to look that up. So for the taxi lights, all you got to do is turn these on. And I imagine that they're three separate ones. I only turned on the first middle one, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. That should be on the nose gear. Alright, so I turned one on and nothing came on. Let's try this again. Turn on the second one. Mm -hmm. Still nothing. Let's try this again. Okay. Are my taxi lights on? Okay. <laughs> there they are. Uh, they're actually on it's just that you can't tell because it's so damn bright. Let's go ahead and change the, the time. Alright, well. Must be the taxi lights right there. Yeah, the taxi lights are right here, but they're showing up over here. I'm not sure what that's all about. Anyway, taxi lights, straightforward. It's like your headlamps in your car. Last but not least are your landing lights. Now, the landing lights you use to see the runway during takeoff and landings. They also make great anti-collision lights. You turn them on when you're just about to go down to the runway and you turn them off after you're passing through 10,000 feet and when you get back in the approach area. Now, the thing about um, landing lights, I didn't realize that um, they're pretty bright. So, you want to turn them off while you're taxiing around at the airport. Only when you get on the runway and in the air is when you want them on because they're extremely bright and you it can cause uh, retinal damage for people who stare at them directly. Let's go ahead and turn these on. And uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job of lighting stuff up there. Now the landing lights, they're actually right here. Um, I don't think they're modeled very well in this case. I mean, yeah, it's lighting up the, the area in front of the plane, but you don't actually see where the light's blasting out of the bulbs. I guess that's implemented differently by uh, different aircraft developers. So yeah, the landing lights, definitely want to turn them on when you're getting into the approach area, turn them off when you're going past 10,000 feet. Uh, one of the reasons why they're on when you get in the approach area is all the aircraft can see you very easily when they're on because they're extremely bright. And that's it. It's a relatively short video. Um, the thing about lights is you got to remember when to turn them on and when to turn them off and I'm always having a hard time remembering okay turn on the red beacon before you start the engines I know you turn on all your lights except the taxi lights when you taxi onto the runway but turn off the landing lights after you leave the runway it's just one big thing after another so all right that's all I have I uh, hope you found this video useful my name is Flightsome Guy thank you very much for watching I will see you next time